Today, scientists announced a milestone in the search for planets outside our solar system. A NASA telescope has detected a slew of planet candidates, more than a thousand of them, and dozens of those possible planets are in the so-called habitable zone around their stars, where life might exist. NPR's Nell Greenfield Boyce reports. The Kepler telescope was launched back in 2009 to try to find planets similar to Earth, rocky, potentially habitable alien worlds. Since then, the telescope has been staring at over 150,000 stars in one small patch of sky. It's looking for the slight dimming in the brightness of stars that could be caused by a passing planet. Today, NASA held a press conference, and William Baruki, the mission's principal investigator, said that in its first four months of operation, Kepler found an amazing number of events that could mean a planet is circling a star. The telescope has found 1,235 possible planets, to be precise. The amount of dimming reveals the planet's size, and Baruki says these possible planets come in all sizes. We. See 68 Earth size, 288 super Earth size. We're seeing 662 Neptune size, 165 Jupiter size. And Baruki says that 54 of the candidates seem to be located in their star's habitable zone, where temperatures are not too hot and not too cold, meaning there could be liquid water. One of which you can see is smaller than Earth. Four of them are somewhat larger than Earth. They're super Earth size. A planet this size might be rocky. And the thought of a rocky planet in the habitable zone is the kind of thing that thrills planet hunters. It's the kind of place that ET might call home. Remember, though, that these are all just candidate planets. Doing follow-up observations to show that all these dimming events detected by Kepler are truly planets will take time. Now that NASA has released all this data, researchers can get to work. Deborah Fisher is an astronomer at Yale University. She called this a historic moment. Kepler has blown the lid off of everything that we know about extrasolar planets, and this week, to me, feels very different than last week did. NASA officials point out that in the first 15 years of planet hunting from the ground, scientists had managed to find only about 500 planets, mostly big gas balls like Jupiter. Even if not all of Kepler's 1,200 or so possible planets pan out, the orbiting telescope is giving scientists an unprecedented sense of what's out there, and the mission isn't over yet. Nell Greenfield Boyce, NPR News.